It's August and with males of all the UK's deer species now in season, we have some spectacular footage for you. With the 1st of August, there comes a sigh of relief amongst many stalkers and a turning point in the huntsman's calendar, as the open season now also encompasses the males of the herding species. That said, it's still too early in the season to be trying for a mature animal. So deer at this time of year, you can see at their antlers here, they are covered in velvet. And that's why it's not a good time to be shooting trophy animals, because underneath all that velvet, the hard horn will be white in colour and won't be properly developed. So if you're going to shoot mature fallow buck, uh, then you should be doing this a little bit more towards the end of the season. And so, with all the males now in season, we head to Hampshire, which has a large population of roebuck, fallow buck and munchak. Okay, so you may be able to see way off in the distance, a good 350 yards over there, there's a row out in the field. Now the wind direction is coming across us here, so we're going to be a bit sneaky and we're going to come all the way around through the wood and out onto the field. Um, I think it's a doe. It's buck season, we're still in the middle of the rut here, but where there's a doe there's often a buck, so that's going to be my logic. So we're going to come around here and we may try calling and uh, see if we can bring in an accompanying animal. With a plan in mind, I loop around and exit the wood with the wind in my face. Okay, so we've got some row out in front of us. I think it's a, a mother with her two kids. As I say, let's have a little bit of fun here. Uh, we'll try and bring her in and we'll try and do it with this. This is a butelo. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use it to, to squeak them in. Let's see if we can have some luck. The best way I always use it is stuffed in my pocket because it kind of muffles the sound a little bit. So I'm gonna stick this in my pocket and we'll give it some calling and see if they come. Here she comes. forms with her. A couple of peeps on the boots load get her attention, but it's only when I start giving it some real welly that my calling becomes irresistible. And in she comes, a mother with her two kids. 30 yards. <coughs> 20 yards. And still she seems unable to resist the call.
Eventually, caution gets the better of her, and she slips off into the wood. returning only to encourage her kids to follow her through the fence. Now that's how to bring in some row. That was absolutely fantastic. I said we'd have a bit of fun with them when we did, didn't we? No buck in tow, which is such a shame. But you could see they came charging into a variety of different calls within, what, 15, 20 yards? And uh, even though we stood, you and I stood plain out here in the open, the, the noise was just enough to confuse them. But reacting beautifully for the call, we're here right in the earlier part of August. It's a bit of a cold morning, but right in the part of early part of August, absolutely fantastic demonstration of how to call row. But we've already had row up to the eyeballs this summer, and so I set off in search of something larger. Okay, so that was a little bit of fun. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, but it's August now, and it's also about fallow buck. So we're gonna head on to another plot of land, and it's uh, the area of woodland that we stalked with James Schneider last year, and we called in a roebuck. But before we called in the roebuck, we also brought in some fallow with the butelo. So we're gonna see, you never know, perhaps we'll have a repeat this year. So we're going to give it five or ten minutes, then I'm going to start calling, and uh, who knows? Little do I realise that just as I speak these words, a fallow pricket emerges 200 yards off to my right. Getting quickly into position, I prepare to take my first fallow buck of the new season. It's a pricket. Are you on it? No, I can't see it. I'm going to take it. Right, it's coming around. Alright, just take this, you know, if it comes. Uh -huh. Okay, so literally, having just said, you never know quite what you're going to get, I looked out into the field to my right, and there was a fallow pricket, which would be perfect. 
So the reason I'm calling is that sometimes they get quite inquisitive. So I'm going to try and call him up to come up in front of us here, uh, in which case we'll take him. Sadly, it's not to be, but it's been a glorious August morning in the Hampshire countryside. And with the best of the season for red, seeker and fallow yet to come, as late summer turns to autumn, we hope to bring you more from the UK's largest species of deer in the months to come. If you'd like to pre-book some fallow stalking for this autumn, then contact us on 01403 790 244 or visit our website www.countydeerstalking.co.uk forward slash go stalking.